go. Got to get ten fish. Got to have live bait from the depths of the sea. Oh, and we got a nice blue crab in there. What's behind door number three? Got us some nice bait in there. It's good to have a variety of sizes. And uh, we got some little ones and we got some big ones. Well, let the good times roll, y'all. We have no like idea. I've never been here before. I don't have any instruction. I'm just fishing. That's what I love about the ocean. That's what I love about hunting and fishing. It's the pursuit. It's having an idea and going and putting it to work. That's a chum bag. We're gonna put it in the water right here. And hopefully we get us a nice school of fish up behind the boat. Probably gonna be a small red grouper. Exactly as predicted. A micro grouper. You know you're in a pretty epic spot when a daggone pound and a half yellowtail is your bait. We can legally use that yellowtail for bait, but it counts as part of our limit. This is no joke. All I did was I ran out here. I'm in 90 feet of water. I found a just a mark. I said, well, I'll send the bait down. Big thing is we got to figure out our current. How much current is there? And I got to set the drag for as tight as I feel I can get away with. I'm using about 10 ounces of lead, but I probably don't need quite so much. Bait is about to lose his mind right now. Come on, boys! Come on! Woo! Got smoked on the big rod. Jordy, come grab that my other rod. Well, you ain't nothing to grab now. He's gone. My bait seems awful excited right now. Oh, did you see that bite? He's getting nailed. Come on, eat it. There he is. <laughs> Come on, eat it again. Eat it again. He just ate it. He just ate it. Come on. Big bait. Let's see what happens here. Come on, boy! Ah <laughs> Watch your line there, Jordy. Oh, no. Dude, I got a lot of drag on this fish, too. <sighs> if I get tangled up and lose this fish, you're going to see me beat Jordan with a fishing pole. Oh, come on. Oh, God. gosh. Honey, you're freak. You got to do the next one. I see color. I got color. Good God. What on earth do I have? I got to go to low gear on this sucker. <sighs> Getting close. Big eight, I That's what I'm thinking, unfortunately. Oh, dear God. Ah. Yes. 
These things can pull extremely hard. Come here, boy. Nice way to start off the day. Look at that. Okay, let's go to the grouper hole, not the amberjack hole. All right, arms are jello. Just getting warmed up, y'all. Getting close. Big man. That's what I'm thinking, unfortunately. Oh, dead gun. Ah. Yes, these things can pull extremely hard. Come here, boy. Nice way to start off the day. Okay, let's go to the grouper hole, not the amberjack hole. All right, arms are jello. Just getting warmed up, y'all. The very second this bait got to the bottom, it got nailed. Come on. No, oh, I guess I'm gonna have to talk. Once the fish gets up here. So not fun. Oh, uh, well, you know, it's another daggum donkey jack. Guess what, though? He's going on ice. All right, so we're literally just getting started. First two baits down were two big old amber jacks. Mama's got the shade up. She's laying here. The boys are back there fishing and I'm giving my arms a rest because they feel like uh, peanut butter and jelly right now. That's what I'm talking about. We got the spot lock on. He wasn't really fighting that too hard in the beginning, but now he's starting to pull. Here it comes, yeah, I got cut. Daggum, big old Jack Crevel, are you kidding me? Let's see that thing. Holy macaroni. He is large. See it, buddy, go terrorize someone else. Yeah! Dang, son! Jory's putting a beat down on you over there. I just got eight. What in the world? We got one going on there. Oh. Was that a grunt I just heard? Yeah. You guys look at this. Look at the hairdo. <laughs> look at the hairdo. It's too hot, man. <laughs> Boy's putting a bend in that rod, son. All the noise is coming out of him. He's not playing. Oh, hold on, hold on, boys. Watch here. That could have been you. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 look at this. Oh, come on, fish. I got a good one here. I don't know what y'all are catching, but I got a good one. Honey, come film. Wonder what I got. I'm gonna go with mutton snapper. I think I've got a mutton snapper in <sighs> Come on, boy. And the great thing about this, we're just driving around trying to mark spots. Mark a spot, you know, you see some. Yeah. What do I have? Oh, button snap on me. 
I'll take it. I'll take it. Came up really fast. See how he's got air in him? That's from coming up really fast. He's coming, he's coming. Oh. Oh, that's a that's the God. one. Get that fish off the bottom. Real. That's the fish you're after right there. Not so high with it. If you don't get that thing, I'm gonna have to lose the blood. There. Oh, that's the right fish there. Come on. It's so nerve-wracking, like, knowing that this could just be a giant black or huge gag. Is that a shark? No, keep fighting, just, I mean. I'm getting whooped by this fish. Oh, he just broke off. Are you kidding me? He just broke off. I swear to God. There he is. I predict that. Ladies and gentlemen, we are straight up hitting it hard now. Ugh. Beautiful. I'm about to show y'all something that's really, really cool. The next three days, we're gonna be fishing all day. And I'm gonna show you how to turn that big amberjack into something you won't forget. So we are fully trying to make it work. This is one of my lights that I normally use in my house, but we don't have light out here. So we're like, ah, whatever, let's just make it work. This is a huge amberjack, not huge, but it's a large amberjack. Just take your knife and run it right up, just like that. Come down on that side and then right here, run up right up into his head, just like that. Then take your knife and you're gonna just let her follow right down the side, just like that. If you look, there's a yellow line right there. That's that amber line. That's like your, uh, it's the line that you trace with. Mm -hmm. And then this should pop right out. That's pretty right there. That's really, really pretty. All you're gonna do, you're gonna do the same thing on the bottom and the same thing on this side. Did y'all just see that? Yeah. That wasn't gonna be in the video, but I guess, yeah. I almost had to go swimming from the last silver stag. So I've got all of our fish cleaned up, trimmed up, ready to go, and now I'll just cut it into these nice steaks. This would make for a great meal, but in all honesty, you'll see soon, all I'm trying to do is just get this meat ready to grill up. This is the easy part. We're just gonna put in a considerable amount of this. That's Everglades fish and chicken. Then we're gonna throw in a bunch of this. This is, uh, actually that doesn't go nearly fast enough. Take that off and now we're gonna have something to work with. And then you just take your hands and just start rolling it around. Key element, take a little bit of vegetable oil and you're just gonna put that in there. And the reason is, as we start to roll all this, you're gonna, you're gonna get some oil on your fish and that's gonna make it not stick to your grill. The question is, can I get all this fish on here?
Hold on, hey, we're gonna find out right now if he's been watching the videos. Did you see my more eel shot? Why you be trash talking Brito Mas Grande Let's on your the more mouth? Let me see your hand. So, okay, check this out, y'all. No, 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 you gotta see comparison. Look at the two thumbs. Moray bite and roll it over. All oh, that's the moray oh, business is, right see, there. If you're scared of getting bit by a moray, don't stick your hand in a hole. Crazy. What are we cooking? Looks like dolphin. I got a 46 pounder yesterday. Dang. Nice one. Freak out them. No way. It's my story. I tell it however I want. Dirty <laughs> <laughs> dog. No, it's a big amberjack, bro. For real? Yeah. Cool. Nothing wrong with that amberjack. So now, simple as pie, we're gonna take our fish. When you throw it in here, this recipe, I wanna make sure, it's hot, but we just wanna make sure that it is flaky. All right, so there is our fish. Now, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna start by breaking it up. You wanna make sure it's cooked good, but you don't wanna totally overcook it. And we're gonna be mixing this up so much that right now we're just trying to do the initial breakup. All right, so this is gonna happen fast. We've got some diced up green olives, capers. We're gonna do about a half a jar of sweet relish. Then, this is Duke's mayonnaise. Gonna do about a jar of that with a, with a mixture this big gonna take a pretty good amount of it. You're gonna start just mixing this all up. So Aubrey is packing up the boat over there and I'm gonna add a dozen hard-boiled eggs to this mixture. You may think to yourself, a dozen, that seems a little excessive, but the truth of the matter is when you're adding hard-boiled eggs to something like this, you can never be too excessive. And you get those big pieces of egg. Woo, baby doll. Oh. See that? It's all starting to happen now. All starting to happen. Add that egg in there. Sweet Vidalia onion in the mix. Celery, which it's almost impossible to keep the celery on the plate. I love the taste of celery, but I like the crunch even more. I love the crunch of celery. Oh, we should take this. Aubrey, you hungry? You see that right there, y'all? You just watched me make it. You actually watched us catch it, clean it, and make all that. That's what we call a love potion. Now. Aubrey and I, we actually have a really cool guy coming down. He and his family, they're coming down. Um, they're gonna spend a couple days with us, then we're going to the Dry Tortugas. We're literally living the dream. When you're living the dream, you ain't got time to be jacking around making a sandwich. You just wanna pop, make something real quick. And that's what preparation comes in. We took that big old gigantic jack, and this is all you gotta do. You need the bucket of love and a spoon. Throw that on your sandwich, just like that right there. See that? It's what you, that's all we're talking about right there. Yeah, yeah. They already told me they're not hungry, but I told them they're eating it anyway. I love that celery in there. What do you like about the celery? Crunch. The crunch! You got to like the crunch. Hmm. Don't be lying either, because you're on video. <laughs> I only tell the truth on your videos, you know that. That's right. Mm. How do you no. like it though? It's good. Now think about it, One, now you take your lid, put the lid on here, put that on ice. You don't want it soaking into water, no. but make sure it's on ice. Then the mayonnaise, all your ingredients are gonna like, what's the How word? do you say fall in love? Oh, they've already fallen in love, dude. They're making babies at this point. <laughs> I'm speechless. Look, what is the word? Not solidify. We're congeal. Congeal! Bam! That's it! That's what 
PhD right there, son. Bon hello. <laughs> yeah, we need this to congeal while on ice. Congeal means it's gonna thicken up, then when you put it on that soft bread, and if somebody smashes this bread before I eat it, Black I will. Eye. My bread better look like this whenever I'm ready to make a sandwich. This is gonna be congealed, nice and cool, because the sun's gonna be up, it's gonna be super hot, and uh, we're gonna be ready. Hey, that's about five pounds of love right there. Let's go do it. Hey, y'all know what? First time I ever went dolphin fishing down here was with this crazy rascal. We were on a 20 foot sea craft. We didn't have a care in the world. We didn't have much for sense. We didn't come off the throttle, so we're 20 something miles offshore. No <laughs> GPS. No GPS, no compass. No, no, no we had a compass. We well, had a we compass. didn't know how to use it. Well, we were like, Hey, we had Dr. We're going that way. One of the trips, we come off the throttle, but Dr. Roney was with us, and we looked at him. We're like, all right, Dr. Roney, if you had to get us home, what way? He said, that's why you boys are on this boat. <laughs> Dr. Roney is one of the two brothers, the Sahayaks, that put my foot back on and put it back together. And, congealed uh, it? They congealed it. <laughs> they congealed it to my leg. As y'all can tell, the heat's getting to us, but that's all I got for you tonight. Take care, God bless, and we...